You are having a super happy day so far and you had a beautiful Christmas with your loved ones I cannot believe it's over just like that this season always flies by and I cannot believe it is about to be 2020 this is actually my last Christmas video of the season I had so much fun making so many festive Christmas videos this year. I really hope you guys enjoyed them and I'm so excited for a new year full of lots of fun videos and I would love for you to comment down below what videos you would like to see in 2020. But today I'm doing a little what I got for Christmas video haul. This is actually my third what I got for Christmas video which is so cool that I've been doing YouTube for like three years and it's just really neat to kind of have this Christmas tradition of filming this video. I love watching these videos because I feel like you can tell so much about people's personality depending on like what their loved ones get them for Christmas. So I think that's really fun and I'm excited to show you some goodies I got, including this lovely robe that I'm wearing from Brandon. I just never want to take it off ever. It is truly the softest thing. It's like a white teddy robe from Pottery Barn. And I'll link everything I can down below in case you have some Christmas money you're looking to spend. But this robe is seriously life-changing, <laughs> so cozy. And I've been wanting a white robe because I just think it looks so crisp and clean and I can like bleach it if I need to and all that good stuff. So really happy with this gift. He did so well. We're just gonna pop right into this. So my mom for Christmas, she actually got me this cold brew coffee maker it's wrapped in bubble wrap but oh hopefully i'm not breaking anything this is what it looks like so i have directions over there so i'll need to figure out how to make this i'm sure i'll like vlog about it sometime soon but basically you fill it up with the coffee beans or ground coffee and then you put water and then it kind of just sits for a while and then you have cold brew coffee so that is amazing and she also paired that with um, a couple bags of some of the best coffee. It's Barney's uh, Santa's White Christmas and Barney's Cafe Mocha Truffle. Wow, that sounds so, so good. Um, so I'm really excited to make cold brew and that'll save me some money in the new year so I don't have to go to Starbucks all the time to get my cold brew. And she also gifted me these syrups to go along with it so I can make like fancy flavored things. You guys know I'm just so in love with coffee so this is very fitting for me we have salted caramel syrup and we have vanilla syrup so I'm not gonna use too much of this because I don't think it's very healthy but a little bit won't hurt me too much okay and then we have dark chocolate espresso beans my Grammy gave me these and these are so good I love dark chocolate and I love espresso so match made in heaven and then Someone else gave me this. I think it might have been my aunt. I forget, but it's coffee is always a good idea. And it's like this little pack and it came with um, salted caramel syrup and hot coffee, wait. Okay, yeah, it came with salted caramel gourmet syrup, a coffee stir and chocolate sprinkles. So cute. I should be good with caffeine for a little while. And then my mom, she also got me these little Yankee Candle car fresheners. So you can kind of like just hang them on your rear view mirror. And there's a vanilla cupcake scent, a home sweet home scent, and black cherry. Oh, there's like a little rub and smell on here. I didn't notice that until just now. Mmm. Yeah, that's going to make my car smell delish. Okay, and then my mom also got this for Brandon and I. I think she actually got it for Brandon, but you know, we like to share around here. And it's this um, Louisiana spice mix, which I'm so, so, so excited to use. You guys know I love cooking. Um, so this is gonna be so yummy. It's a mix of paprika, cayenne, black pepper, garlic powder, oregano, thyme, and cloves. That is gonna be so, so good. Can't wait to use that. Oh, and then my mom, she also got me this ornament. 
and it is a running shoe and it's a Disney running shoe from the Wine and Dine 2019 half marathon weekend because that's the half marathon I did a couple months ago so she got me this ornament so I can remember when I did that half marathon and we can remember when Brandon broke his foot because if you've been following my channel my husband he broke his foot a week before we were supposed to run a half marathon together awesome great timing <laughs> so I ended up running it by myself but it went really well thank goodness but this is the shoe how cute it's so detailed I love it so I will hang it on our tree before we take all the decorations down Brandon and I have been talking about when we want to take our decorations down and honestly as much as I adore them I'm kind of ready to just like do a deep clean I'll probably do a, a clean with me because I'm I'm excited about it honestly it's nice to kind of just start fresh for the new year okay and then my mother-in-law she gave me this purity set I love the philosophy brand they have really really great products and this is actually the face wash I use every day to remove my makeup and then wash my face it's called purity and it's really really nice and I love how it's like you know a one-step facial cleaner because I can wash my face and remove my makeup at the same time and then it also came with ooh, a moisturizer which is always always good so I love that and then my Grammy like she this is a little container where she put like a bunch of gifts in but it's all marble super super cute Ugh, I'm in such the mood to organize so this will be great for that okay Oh, and then my mother-in-law also got me this honey and cream body spray. And it smells super great. It's the Philosophy brand, so give me a little spritz. Mmm, nice. Yummy, yummy. Okay, and then my Grammy, she gave us this candle. And it kind of matches with the container. It's like this marble design. And then in the inside, it's pink. And it smells like fresh Freesia, I think that's a flower. I don't know how to say it though. Freesia and peony. Soy blend scented candle. Thank you, Grammy. And then our Aunt Janelle, she got us this game called Sequence. Let me know if you guys have played this before. I have never played it, but Brandon has played it and he said it's super, super fun. So I'm excited about this. We absolutely love game nights so much so we're excited to play that and then we got this Mexican train dominoes which I'm also really excited about this is from our mother and father-in-law Brandon's parents um, because we don't have dominoes yet and like I said we are big 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 game night fans so we have to like <laughs> we have to find a new spot to put all this stuff because we just have our like one bedroom little apartment right now and it's a great size but once you start acquiring more things it's hard to <laughs> to find little nooks and crannies to hide it all okay and then my aunt Janelle also gave us this 88 great conversation starters for husband and wife and it's so cute we did one this morning actually so I'm gonna pick a random one <laughs> Brandon's not here right now he's playing tennis but I'll just do it with you guys <laughs> What is your favorite song on the radio? In what ways does music affect you? And it has little quotes and Bible verses on it, which is so cute. Like this one also says, name three words that describe yourself. Name three words that describe me. And then the verse that it says is, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Psalms 139, 1-3. Isn't that so precious? I love that. So we'll just like put that on our coffee table. We can have little conversations. Love it. Okay. My Aunt Janelle also gave us this set of Bed Bath & Beyond. I guess this is for me, not for us. Brandon likes it though because I get to smell good and I already I'm not gonna spray this on now because I just sprayed that other stuff But it's really yummy smelling and I can always use more Body lotion and shower gel and all that good stuff and then my sister-in-law Michelle Gave me this cute workout top. 
and it's so soft and it's just this pink color my favorite color so that's really really great and also we got like gift cards and stuff but I'm just showing you like the actual tangible items because I mean gift cards are amazing I love gift cards like my other sister gave us a Chipotle gift card and that's like my favorite restaurant I am obsessed with Chipotle if you didn't know I think it's the yummiest thing ever but you know it's more fun to see this kind of thing and the next thing my mom got us this little serving tray and it says good food good friends good times which is so cute because we love to have friends over for game nights and just other occasions so this will be perfect to do a little charcuterie action a little dessert tray I love it okay just a couple more things oh wait where's my one second okay oh I just put water everywhere <laughs> oh no okay just making a mess don't mind me so my mom this wasn't a gift for me it was a gift for Brandon but it made me laugh so hard so if you saw the blog where Brandon was giving everybody a weather lesson about humidity it was just the funniest thing and my mom <laughs> she gave him this book that's National Geographic kids everything weather facts photos and fun that will blow your mind which is just so hilarious and Brandon used to read these as a kid so that's probably why he knows all this random facts about weather and like the earth and animals and stuff but that was just hilarious it was kind of like a joke but he'll probably still read it all <laughs> and enjoy it very much but that was super funny and then my mom she got me three of the best books these three books literally describe me so we have the little book of Huga which I've been saying this as Haig, but it's Huga, the little book of Huga. And it's the Danish secrets to happy living. And I am obsessed with Huga culture and decor and just creating coziness. You guys know I'm absolutely in love with the word cozy. So this is so perfect for me and I'm so excited to read it. I actually started reading it last night and it is just, it's making me feel Huga and cozy. So I love this book. She did so good picking that out for me. And then she also got me The Ride of a Lifetime by Robert Iker, who is the CEO of Disney, the Walt Disney Company. And we've heard such great things about this book. So I'm super, super, super excited to read it. And he is just a very inspirational person. So super excited about that. And then the last one is Antony from Queer Eyes Cookbook, which I am so excited about. Look at his preciousness. So cute, and we have been flipping through this, and Brandon and I's mouth have been watering. There's so many yummy recipes, and I love like all the pictures they have, and I love this font as well. I wonder if that's his handwriting. <laughs> so cute. So, she did so good. Those three books are literally me in three books, so. I love it, and gifts are not my love language, but it is super fun to see what people pick out for you, and it does make me feel special. Just because gifts aren't like my number one love language doesn't mean I don't love them. It's just like some people really, really, really love gifts, so it's just interesting. I love learning about the love languages of different people in my life, so yeah, it was a very, very happy Christmas, which I'm so thankful for, and I'm really excited for 2020 and I hope you guys are too and you make the most of it and we'll be in it together. We'll have lots of fun together this new year and I love you guys so much and can't wait to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!